you so much for tuning in to this week's edition of 726. Hi, I'm Dan Reynolds. And this lady right over here is the new girl on the block. This, your, this is your uh, first time here, right? Right not. Right not? Who, have you, who have you been doing the show with for 14 years? <laughs> We've been several people. I've had several people fill in for me, for you. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Elisa Johnson, my wife Kelly. Who, who else? Who I've else? I've had, I, I don't know. I, I, I I've, don't had, I've had males sitting in this chair. Have you? I don't know how they identified, but they, they were males sitting in this chair. Oh, the world's gone that. crazy, hasn't it? Uh, we were just talking about that poor little Pepe Le Pew. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And those were awesome cartoons back in the day. The Warner Brothers cartoons, love those I things. I never once Timeless. thought of anything outrageous like what's coming yeah. out. So, anyway. everything's, everything's being expired or canceled or, or whatever. Huh? Cancel culture. Cancel, cancel can culture. Can I cancel you? You can try. <laughs> and that's what I say to the cancel culture. Try. There's some just things you it. just will not cancel. Right. But you can try. But, you know, and, and that's what we were talking about earlier is... What do we do? You know, you're gonna get a little personal conversation yeah. here. What do we do as a as a as a, co a country and a society? How do we how do we maintain our liberties and our freedoms? What do we do? Do we become sheep, or what do we do? And you mentioned uh, just you know for what we know right now to be vocal, but I don't know. You've got to get somebody. Yeah, we have to have people to represent us somewhere up right. up above up above us, our city officials, our county, or state, and right. And we'll have a couple of those a bit later. And we'll talk about. We it. will. We're going to tell yeah, them we'll, how. No. Yeah. <laughs> I am so I am so happy. You got some of my honey. I some. did. How was it's it? So good. That was pretty. That was a. I'm that's very impressed. I love bees. I have become a bee person. Good for you. I'm a, That's I'm wonderful. a newbie, but uh, but uh, we went out and bought, got bought the extractor and and of course I did lose a hive over the winter right. and I'm really surprised that both of them survived. But uh, we're we're thinking about splitting them and having two and three and four. Yeah, you yeah. should. Yeah, it's fun. Let's go in the bee business. I want to show show people. Um, I also have a metal detector that uh, Kelly bought me for my birthday last year, mm -hmm. and we went out on my great-great-grandfather's old homestead property oh, wow. and did some metal detecting. I was only out there 20 minutes and, and I found what? found some things that I'm sure that he had his hands on. This is for an old plow tine. Okay. It's on a, you know, horse-drawn. Right. And this was about five inches under the ground, four or five inches under the ground. But I pulled that out and I go, wow, that was pretty interesting. And then, do you know what this is? I'm thinking part of an axe, but I really don't it, know. It's a, let me see if I can get it over, I can't show here. Anyway, it's it's a splitting wedge. Okay. It's a handheld like a wedge. You, yeah, yeah, you put it uh, in the in the wood and then you mm -hmm. use your sledgehammer mm -hmm. or whatever to, to split the wood. And you see by all the activity on top of that, I mean, it was well used. What are you going to do with these, Dan? You're going to oh, put them like in I'll a... keep them. I know, but I mean, you should display them in your home somehow. Yeah, well, I've got them on the mantle. That'd be a heck of a... I have to clean them up just a, just a little bit longer. But look at that thing. I mean, you know, I'm sure the, the metal back in those days wasn't extremely good because there's chips all over it. But but just, to, awesome. just to find a, a, a nice artifact like that. So your great, great, how, how great, old great would it make? Uh, these he artifacts. lived there in the early uh, 1900s. Okay. Yeah. And they... Uh, homesteaded that property and what's funny is when uh, Kelly did all, all the research on it mm -hmm. but back when they gave away, well, they didn't give away but they sold homestead land very cheaply mm -hmm. and they sold them in 40 acre blocks and what families would do is they, they would go in and, and buy adjoining right. lots and when we looked at the original uh, plots uh, there was like three or four families of the um, of the Eddings family bought adjoining lots on the um, Big Creek, the little buffalo, okay. uh -huh. Big Creek. And uh, then they would use that land to, you know, cut trees down. But they'd all build their homes 
on one lot or really close to each other. So that's really that's quite neat. interesting. Fascinating. Yeah. I'm sure there's more things for you there's to find. There's more stuff out there, and they, there's no wells that's still there. It has water in it. So wow. It's just, it's just exciting, fun, fun to do that kind of stuff. You kind of got into this whole thing with um, ancestry and mm -hmm. all, and then mm -hmm. to kind of see that yeah. play out like this is yeah. really pretty amazing. Pretty interesting. Yeah. Cool, Dan. All right. It's all about you today. Oh, is it? <laughs> yep. All right. That's okay. That's fine. Okay, we're going to go through the lineup. Are you ready? I am ready. Okay. Up first, we have Jamie Nessner, mayor of Diamond City, and also Troy Burleson, who's the chief of police of Diamond City and Omaha. Correct? Okay. And I'm not going to tell you what they're going to talk about. We're going to let them tell you. Okay. okay. You care? No. Okay. We also have Mayor Jerry Jackson, who will be here, and he's got something... I don't know what this is that we're oh, talking about. Oh, they've got some big things going. Okay, well, I'm excited to hear about that. And Beth Kaffenberger and Rebecca Fart Force mm -hmm. will be here from the Boone County Library. And Wanda Massengale is here representing the Ozark Humane Society, and she has a one year old male cat named Marshmallow. We will go to break, and when we return, Jamie and Troy will be with us. Stay with us. <laughs> 